Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a nice Valentine's Day look on me. Yesterday I did my best friend's makeup. Today it's going to be on me. I'm going to do a complete different look. Still the same colors. I'm going to use the same palettes. I might add a new palette, but we'll see. So let's get into it. Let's go. So I'm, being, I'm going to be using one of the palettes that I used yesterday. The Pretty Rich from Too Faced. It's my favorite, but I'm going to be using different colors this time. I'm going to be using Diamond Glitterati with some more pinky colors today. And then I'm going to be using the Berry Burst palette. This little one from Sephora. So this is what I'm going to be using on my eyes today. So off camera, guys, I did my eyebrows. I used Spike Eyebrow Pencil with the Gel Mascara Girl Boy. My face is already prepped with skincare, primer, moisturizer, everything like that. As you can see, I muted out my eyes. I have an eye primer with some translucent powder. So let's go. So I'm going to be using the Pretty Rich Palette from Too Faced. I'm going to use its designer and Fancy That. These two on my lips, okay? Hey, Smatty, let's count us a fat. Count us a fat. This one and this one. I'm gonna just mix them, tap them both, and then apply them in my crease area and I'm gonna blend it out. Just tapping both of the colors on the palette. Eyeshadow should be using at least three brushes or four brushes, but mostly using a blending brush and a flat eyeshadow brush. Those are the most important brushes you use. Some people use more, but sometimes it's not that serious. You use three brushes or even two. I'm just putting the pink in the corner right here, as you can see. color so I love to work with pink so I don't mind so now I'm gonna take this color right here I'm gonna just blend it out right on top of this crease area right here back and forth motion back and forth I just applied some concealer on my lid just to cut it out a little bit so like concealer on the top and then I'm going to have my eyeshadow on top, my glitter on top, so it's going to look a little bit brighter. So I'm going to use Diamond Glitterati. This one right here. So pretty. 
I'm gonna spray my brush with my, my charged water spray. Cause I want the shadows to pick up and the glitter to pick up. It's better, like I said, with your fingers, but I have long nails, so I can't. So I'm applying the Diamond Glitterati on my lid. Concealer like picked up the glitter shadow. I I feel a little bit more, and it holds it a little more, and it also makes it look brighter. Just the way I do it, you don't have to do it the same way, but I'm gonna do mine. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply some highly selective eyeshadow right next to the pink that I just did. So this is the highlight. I'm not sure what I want to do. Hmm. I'm going to add some more pink on the masquerade palette. The bright, bright, bory. Of course, that one. I'm going to add that again. It's Maddie, let's count us a fit. Like that, I'm gonna blend it out again. But so far, I like it like this. I'm gonna kind of darken my crease up a little bit. I want to go a little bit more dramatic in the front. So you know what? I'm gonna use the Coal Under Pressure Black Shimmer. This last one here. Let's see how that works.
gonna apply it to this designer under my eyebrow. This one and might have a little bit of a kiss catch right now. Those two are my fave colors. Love this too. I love eyeliner, I love bottom liner, I love top liner, so I'm gonna do bottom liner right now. She's probably gonna look a little crazy, don't so mind me, because everybody look crazy doing my eyeliner, okay? I'm gonna try and look cute, hold on. Yeah, it didn't work, I messed it all up, but it's okay, I'm gonna smoke it out. I got the sample from Too Faced. No, I like I got the sample from Tarte. It's a mascara from Tarte sample. So far, it's pretty good. I like it. I'm gonna buy it. I don't like to work. I like it. I like the brush because I have like really, really sparse eyelashes. So I feel like this catches all of my eyelashes. So now I'm gonna apply my foundation. I'm gonna come back to my eyelashes after. So I use Laura Mercier foundation, the Flawless Fusion. I have dry skin, so I like a little bit of a moisturizing finish and a little bit of full coverage, but not too heavy. This is what I use. I live by it. Love it. I use the color Praline. I'm gonna hydrate my skin. I already applied the primer and moisturizer off camera. I'm just gonna make my skin a little bit. is damp you don't have to have it damp you can do it dry it's your preference do whatever you want i like to do it a little bit damp sometimes i do it dry i think so for me this is enough this is enough coverage i don't need any more coverage it looks great. I'm gonna apply a few concealer, contour, highlighter, porous powder, everything else. But I think this is enough coverage. The challenge not getting makeup on your hair. Challenge, honey. Every day, makeup on my hair. So now that's applied, I'm gonna go with my contour. I use a cream contour. I'm a cream contour kind of girl. And then I put a powder on top. I just feel like creams gives me a better look, gives me a better finish. I don't know, I think it just looks better. And I think because I'm dry skin, it just suits me better. That's just for me. I don't know why anybody else. But for me and my clients, when they have dry skin, I do cream contour. So I'm going to be using the NW55 Studio Finish Concealer and the Cream Contour Palette in Dark. So I'm going to do like a little bit right here, here on my nose, chin area areas that I do not like and I want them to look a little bit more slim I snatch my nose all the time so my nose I hate my nose so I like to have it skinny as possible So 
contour. I don't like a harsh contour, so it's, I just need a little bit of a shading here, and that's it, I'm fine. I don't, don't need that dark black or dark mars indentation right there. I see the light. Like, I'm gonna blend that out. big stippling brush because like I said I have like a lighter contour so I feel like this gives me a better blend. I'll do my nose with another brush after I find my concealer in my hand. So now I like to use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer under my eyes. I think I use sand and honey or warm sand and honey. Sand and honey. I was right. So once again, I'll try to spray. Spray all the way down. I like to apply it under my eye, my nose, my cheek as well, my chin, the line everywhere. Everywhere that I want to be highlighted. So you can do the same. I'm sorry. I have dry skin, so that's it. <laughs> I got problems, okay? Now I'm going to set under my eye with my favorite setting powder. I'm debating if I want to go in with a little bit more concealer. So I'm going to add like a little bit of, so a little bit of concealer. So a little bit more of the um, honey under my eye. I kind of want to darken it a little bit. I like a light under eye, but I don't like a light under eye. Okay. Different. Hello, the face I use this on my lids, my nose, my eyes, same, everywhere. Hey, Smitty, let's count us a fat, count us a fat. dry skin I think I have I have normal to dry skin but my nose in my eyes gets really oily so I try to set this down okay but I'm really normal to dry but the nose I think is just oily 
So now I'm going to use my foundation powder. I use Mineralize Dark Foundation from MAC. So I'm going to use that all over my face just to kind of buff out this highlight powder. Dark. This is my fave. I feel like we, I do need another shade though. I think dark can be a little bit too dark sometimes. And then the medium deep is a little bit too red. So I need like maybe a, I want another color. I'm looking for a good powder. Anybody have any suggestions on a good foundation powder for dry skin? Leave me any comments below. I'm well matted down, so now I'm gonna add my contour. I actually Swiss Chocolate or NW45 Studio Fix Powder from MAC, but today I'm gonna use a Swiss Chocolate. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use something else because Swiss Chocolate has a little bit of a red undertone. I don't like red undertone at all. So I'm gonna use this. using this palette. Love this palette, but. These two colors as a contour, oh my god, amazing. So that's what I'm gonna use. How could I forget? So yeah. I know this face is so ugly, but this face, but you have to. Upward motion always. And don't go, I don't go too heavy with this color, this color is really, really dark. This can give you a dark, like blackish brown streak if you just apply a lot of powder to your face. I'm gonna do the same thing on my jawline, very lightly. my own party over here guys I'm sorry okay so now I have my contour now I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush sometimes I apply blush and sometimes I don't I love highlight so I'm more of a highlight contour girl not really a blush girl but I'm gonna do a little blush because you know Valentine's Day I want it to be bright pink I want everything pink and bright so I use this palette it's a limited holiday collection palette from MAC we don't have this anymore. It's, a, it's gone. Sorry. And I'm, I also use eyeshadow as blush. So I'm going to use a little bit of this boring on my cheek too. Because I want it to be really a little, a little bit brighter. a little bit. I'm gonna use my same mineralized powder. I'm gonna kind of just go back over it a little bit. I'm a powder girl, but I feel mineralized powder doesn't give me a powder look. It just gives me like a nice satin finish, not like a dry, dry finish, which I hate. Some powder fits make me look too dry. I'm gonna apply eyeliner. I'm also gonna smoke out under my eyes too. I forgot to smoke out my eyes. I'm gonna use the, oh, that's rich. Ooh, I like that name. 
cute. I can't decide what lashes I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it so Chrissy. These. You know what? I'm gonna do these. These ones. So Chrissy it is. You know where to get these. I'm gonna give you the link again, but get you sandals. All right, so I apply my so pretty lashes. Ready, ready. I love that. All right, now so I'm gonna do my lip. Well, actually, I'm gonna do a little eyeliner on top. So now I'm gonna apply a little brush black liquid liner from Mac. It's like a little thin line. I don't really want a thick line. Just very thin. Favorite lip combo, half red lip liner or chest of lip liner with Cosmo, Fanfare, or Creamier Coffee Lipstick. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna use the half red lip liner today. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna use chestnut. I always use chestnut. My half red lip liner. I overdraw my lips as well. Even though I have full lips, I overdraw them. My real lips as well, and I still overdraw them. I'm just like that. So I'm gonna definitely do my Cosmo lipstick from Mac, and then I'm gonna do. These are my favorite lip gloss right now. I can't get enough. So I have Sun. What is it? Sun Set Crush. Sun Set Crush. And then this is the Social Butterfly. I think this is the Jordan. What's her name again? So this is Jordan Woods lip gloss, Kylie Jenner's best friend. So I want them. They have glitter inside of it. I like them. Yes, I have full lips, and yes, I overdraw them. I'm crazy. Now I'm gonna do the social butterfly. That's what it's called. Oh, girl. And I love blood. 
I'm not doing no matte lips. Who still wears matte lips? Not me. So now I like to go back over my under my eye with a little bit of another setting powder just to kind of finish my look and kind of dust off the extra eyeshadow that fell from the bottom. So I'm gonna do that with my medium dark studio waterway powder from MAC and just like a little, little brush to just get away the excess from under my eye. So now I'm going to add a little bit of the Bori under my eye in my gray palette. And I think that will be it for this look. Hey, Smatty, let's count us a fetish. 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 Count